Hello everyone, this is Sir Amal and welcome to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and taking care of themselves during this turbulent time. In this video, we will be taking a look at the structure and the functions of microtubules. The microtubules are long, hollow and unbranched tubes that are composed of the subunits of the protein tubulin. Each microtubule is made up of 13 protofilaments that assemble and organize themselves into this hollow, long and unbranched tube that has a diameter of about 24 to 25 nanometers. The wall of the microtubule itself is made up of these 13 subunits or protofilaments and the diameter of one such protofilament will be around 4 to 5 nanometers so that being said the diameter of this wall itself will be around 4 to 5 nanometers the diameter of just the lumen of the microtubule itself will be around 14 nanometers so this is one protofilament right this is another protofilament this is another protofilament and 13 of these protofilaments will assemble and organize themselves to form this uh, tube or microtubule right and each of these protofilament will be made up of these chain of tubulin heterodimers okay and each heterodimer is made up of one beta tubulin and one alpha tubulin Hence the name heterodimers because the tubulin dimers are made up of two different monomeric units alpha and beta. The microtubules are highly dynamic structures that are constantly forming and disappearing. They grow by the reversible addition of the subunits accompanied by the hydrolysis of GTP. The assembly or polymerization of microtubules begins at these sites of orientations that are referred to as the microtubules organizing centers or MTOCs. At the beginning of assembly or polymerization, the tubulin heterodimers associate to form the protofilaments. Then the side-by-side -side assembly of the protofilaments creates this sheet-like structure that we can see here that will curl up to form a tube. This process of formation of a tube is accompanied by the hydrolysis of GTP into GDP. So firstly, the tubulin heterodimers are uh, bound to GTP. When this GTP is hydrolyzed, that will cause a conformational change in the structure of the heterodimers. This will then curl the sheet up into a tube-like structure, as we can see here. A microtubule has a fast-growing N or plus N, where polymerization will keep on adding the heterodimers into the now form tube, and it also has a slow-growing N or minus n and this minus n will be embedded into a microtubule organizing center where the polymerization will begin. The disassembly or depolymerization will only occur when there is no more GTP bound heterodimer left within the structure. So when the microtubules only have the GDP bound heterodimers then it will become highly unstable and the protose filaments will start to uncurl and start to depolymerize and the structure of the microtubule will no longer be stable and as i said the microtubules are quite a dynamic structures that are constantly polymerizing and depolymerizing as you can see here in this 3d representation of the depolymerization of 
the microtubules due to the fact that this particular microtubule no longer have the GTP bound heterodimers and only the GDP bound heterodimers are here so that creates a bit of instability and thus leads to the depolymerization at the plus end of the microtubule. However, this uh, depolymerization can be somewhat helped or slowed down by the help of certain proteins that are associated with the microtubules and these proteins are referred to as the microtubules associated proteins or MAPS that help by either slowing down the rate of depo depolymerization or by increasing the rate of polymerization depending upon the activity of the cell and there are certain proteins that actually act like capping proteins that stops depolymerization at the plus n and slows down the depolymerization at the minus n and most of these proteins are found associated with the microtubules on the surface of these microtubules. So as you can see here, depolymerization at the plus n only occurs when there is not enough GTP bound heterodimers and these protofilaments will then become curved and they will slowly lose their heterodimers of alpha and beta tubule. The microtubules are an important part of the cytoskeleton of the cell along with the microfilaments and the intermediate filaments. The microtubules have several functions in all eukaryotic cells such as number one, the mechanical function. The microtubules provide shape and rigidity to the cell as well as cell processes such as the axons of neurons and the microvilli found on the surfaces of many cells. The elongation of the nucleus of sperm during spermiogenesis is accompanied by the production of many microtubules that are wrapped around the nucleus of the sperm. Microtubules are also involved in the movement of cells during gastrulation as well as embryogenesis. The microtubules play an important role in the contraction of the spindle during cellular division and hence are involved in the movement of chromosomes as well as centrioles. They are also involved in the movement of cilia and flagella of many cells and unicellular organisms. In animal cells, the microtubules are typically nucleated by the centrosome which is a complex structure that contains two centrioles. And if you look at the structure of the centrioles, basically the centrioles are made up of nine units of the microtubule triplet. And again, the centrioles are also involved in the formation of the axoneme and the actual filament in the tail of the spermatozoa. The microtubules are also involved in the transportation of macromolecules, granules and vesicles within the cell. And that is all about the structure and functions of microtubules. I hope you found this video helpful and if you do, please hit that like button. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.